Good day. I met this guy today, a uh, client. He was like 35 years old. And we got to talk. And I soon realized that we basically agreed on everything. So we talked about nationalism and deportation. You know, it was very good. And after, I realized that this, uh, this could not have been a woman. Or it would have been very unusual. Men and women in Sweden are, in general, quite different. They are. Especially on how they vote. This is from the election. The Nationalist Party, the Sweden Democrats, 71% of their voters were men. And 29, of course, were women. And then if you look at the Green Party or the Communists, it's the opposite. The Green Party, 25% of the Green Party voters were men. 25 only. See? Uh, we have a problem here, I think. Because if we want Sweden to become nationalist, we of course need the women on board. They are 50% of the population. Yes. In Hungary, I know, there's more women voting for the nationalists compared to the men. So, there's a difference here, and we need to work at it. You know, they have access to the same information as men do. They do. They just respond differently. Yeah, it's peculiar. So, but then we have a trend here in Sweden, that is this. More and more women are voting nationalist in Sweden. And there is no surprise, absolutely not. You know, they are affected by the results of these elections. They are. And they will realize that they are in danger, just as men are. And they will be sorry if we don't turn this around. So in the last election there were more than 300,000 Swedish women who voted nationalist. So, and this is growing. This is of course very annoying to the lefties and the feminists. They hate this, that more and more women vote nationalist. And I was reading a blog about this, where they discussed it. Uh, there was this comment some time ago from a nationalist party representative, and he said that uh, he was asked about this problem with the nationalists, that so few women vote for them, and he said, that um, they have more female voters than the Feminist Initiative Party, the Green Party and the Communist Party together. That's what he said. And there was a big fuss about this, okay? So that's what they talked about on this blog. And uh, so they wanted to convince the readers that he was wrong, you see. And this is of course a big mistake. You don't do this. You don't, in this way, they are promoting, they are marketing the ideas of their opponent. So people start to think about it. But they did. So they started to compare different uh, poll institute results. And they came up with this conclusion that he was lying. Yeah. <laughs> But even in their comparison, it's very close. So, this is a trend in Sweden. Swedish women are going nationalist. Not as fast as we should, as we hoped. Of course not. But there is a trend. And I think it will just continue. We will see more and more women going nationalist in the, la in the next few years. I'm certain about this because it's such a mess in Sweden and they are in danger you know, they themselves, their female friends oh yes and they will be sorry if we don't turn this around that's it, that's all bye